Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube video. I'm Kalyan Keram from Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering, Bangalore. As a part of my final year academic activity, I have been assigned to do a technical seminar on the topic Blue Jacking Technology. This is done under the guidance of Professor Archana M. So I would like to take a moment to thank Professor Archana Ma'am, Department of CSE. I sincerely thank you for guiding me, ma'am. Okay, now let's take a look on what we are going to see in the further video. So basically, we are going to see the introduction and get to know what blue jacking technology is. Then we are going to learn about the software tools that is required for this blue jacking technology along with its process and application. We will even get to know blue jacking as a market channel. At last, let us get to the conclusion with its future aspects. Now let us get started with the introduction. So blue jacking technology makes use of the Bluetooth technology to send an unauthorized message to any Bluetooth enabled devices. But here, the receiver will not get to know who has sent him this unauthorized message. Instead, he will only receive the message with the name and model of the sender's phone. This technology is known as bluejacking technology. So as we know that bluejacking technology is a technology of sending an unauthorized message using Bluetooth, such as mobile phones, laptops, computers, or PDAs, we have to mainly know about the three things. Firstly, about Bluetooth technology. Secondly, about the Bluetooth Piconet. And finally, we have to learn about the OBEX protocol or the OBEX protocol. Now, let's see what Bluetooth technology is and why it was developed. Bluetooth technology is a short range wireless system to transfer files. So, the main reason to develop this Bluetooth technology is to solve the simple problem of eliminating the connector cable. Just imagine how hard it would have been in the earlier days to carry connector cable everywhere we go. So the main idea was to replace the cables that were used to accompany the portable devices carried by many mobile travelers with a low cost and secure robust RF link. Originally, Bluetooth was marketed only to the small handle devices such as cell phones and laptops. But as we all can see now how the Bluetooth standard has emerged successfully into the society as the world demanded more. Now, let us see the advantages and the disadvantages of Bluetooth. The advantages of Bluetooth technology is it can be a full duplex mode and it can handle both data and voice and it was very easy and it can easily transfer the data. Mainly it does not depend on the network provider or the phone number. It also has disadvantages like it is a doorway to many techniques like blue jacking and blue snarfing, which is basically Bluetooth hacking. Now, let us see what is Bluetooth Piconet and what is its role here. Bluetooth Piconet is an ADHOC network that links a group of users that use Bluetooth technology protocols. It is a temporary network. It allows one master device to interconnect with seven active slave devices. Further, up to 255 slave devices could be inactive and the master device can bring into active status at any given point of time. Each Bluetooth device may operate as either master or a slave. To know the role of Bluetooth Piconet, let me tell you this. The cordless telephone has one Bluetooth transmitter in the base and another in the handset. The manufacturer has programmed each unit with an address that falls into a range of address that has been established for the particular type of device. So when the base is first turned on, it sends a radioactive signal asking for a response from any of the units with an address in a particular range. Since the handset has one address in the range, it responds and a tiny network is formed. Now even if one of these devices should receive a signal from another system, it will ignore it since it's not from the within the network. Here, each piconet hops randomly through available frequencies, so all of the piconets are completely separated from one another. So here, since each network is changing the frequency of its operation in thousands of times in a second, it's unlikely that any two networks will be on the same frequency at the same time. If it turns out that they are two networks, then it will result in confusion, which will cover a tiny fraction of second and the software designed to correct such errors weeds out the confusing information and gets on with the network's business. Now, let us see about the 
OBEX protocol or the OBEX protocol and its functionality. The heart of file transfer over Bluetooth is called as object exchange or OBEX protocol. It is a binary transfer protocol that not only runs over Bluetooth but also runs over infrared and generic TCP or IP. Where TCP stands for Transmission Control Protocol and IP stands for Internet Protocol. The OBEX protocol is optimized for ADHOC wireless links and can be used to exchange all sorts of objects like files, pictures, calendar entries and business cards. It is a session layer protocol that has been designed to enable systems of various types to exchange the data and commands in a resource sensitive standardized fashion. And OBEX is designed to provide push and pull functionality in such a way that any application that using OBEX does not need to get involved in managing the physical connection. As we saw, the procedure for blue jacking was very long and confusing. To avoid this, we have developed many softwares to do blue jacking in an easier way. So some of the software tools that are available in the market are Blue Spam, Meeting Point, Free Jack, and Easy Jacking or EJack. And their name is according to the use. To make it clear, I'll just tell you their use in basic words. Firstly, Blue Spam. The Blue Spam searches for all the discoverable Bluetooth devices and sends a file to them if they support OBEX. Coming to Meeting Point, Meeting Point is a perfect tool to search for Bluetooth devices. You can set your meeting point to a certain channel and meet people you haven't met before. Coming to FreeJack, FreeJack is a compatible to Java phones like Nokia N series. And finally, Easy Jacking or EJack. EJack allows sending of text messages to other Bluetooth enabled devices. We have to know that Bluetooth offers a new communication channel to marketers. But the technology needs to be respected if they are to avoid alienating consumers according to the white paper. The manufacturing industry is never slow to jump on a new communication channel and exploit it for its own ends. Now, let us see the process of blue jacking. The process consists of seven steps. They are, you have to go to your contacts in your phone book or address book. Then you have to choose or click on the new contacts option and create a new contact. Later, enter the desired message into the name field with which one wants to blue jack the other device. Click done or OK and save this contact in your phone book or address book on your phone. As your next step, click on the contact that you have created, then go to action and choose via Bluetooth or send using Bluetooth. Then click the search option and select a device from the discovering active Bluetooth device list. Finally, after selection of the device is completed, the message will be transmitted. Henceforth, the device is blue jacked. Now, let us take a look on the applications of blue jacking. So, some of the applications of blue jacking are viral communication, which is basically exploiting communication between the consumers to share the information. And then community activities, where dating and gaming events could be facilitated using Bluetooth as a channel for communication. And then location based services, when blue jacker could be used to send electronic coupons or promotional messages to consumers as they pass a high street shop or supermarket. So coming to the advantages of blue jack, the blue jacker will usually send only a text message, but with the modern phones, we can send messages or sounds also. People can send any image or sound, but not insulting messages. Any copyright sound files will only be sent with the right written consent of the copyright holder. Data transfer is easy from mobile to laptop in a short period. We can also enjoy music by wireless headphones through blue jacking. Now let us see the disadvantages. Since with the increase in the availability of Bluetooth enabled devices, devices have become vulnerable to virus attacks. Now coming to the future aspects of blue jacking, one should understand that by looking at its current use and misuse by people, it is expected that in the future, either it will be used extensively or people will stop using Bluetooth and only Blue Jacker will be playing with each other. And the other possibility is if some new way is developed in order to trace the Blue Jacker, then we can find the Blue Jacker and register a complaint against them. By this way, Bluetooth might be made more reliable. 
So this is all about machine learning on bluejacking. So I would like to conclude by saying that bluejacking is not at all harmful. The worst thing possible is it might irritate or annoy you by unwanted messages. But you can still prevent yourself from these messages by changing the visibility of your Bluetooth in non-discoverable mode. It can be helpful by providing you with lots of informations as well. So these are the references for my seminar on the topic bluejacking technology. You can go through it and the URL of the sites will be mentioned in the description. So before I stop recording this seminar, I want to thank each and everyone who has watched my video. If you feel that this video was helpful and if you learned something new, I think I deserve a like. Finally, I would like to thank my principal sir Dr. Nageshwar Gupta and all the dignitaries. Thank you all.